this video, we will outline how to perform a filter-based passage of a PBS Mini 100 mil bioreactor. Passaging the bioreactor should be completed on either day three or day four after seeding, or when the PBSC aggregates have reached a size of 300 to 400 microns in diameter. The materials you will need to passage are teaser 3D media, in this case, teaser AOF 3D, containing 10 micromolar Y27632 rock inhibitor and teaser AOF 3D seed supplement, warm to room temperature. GCDR warmed to 37 degrees, a 50 mil Falcon tube, which is the aggregate recovery tube, a 125 mil bottle, which is the final clump suspension bottle, one large 37 micron strainer, and one waste bottle. Approximately 20 minutes before beginning the passage, remove the stem cell 3D media, in this case, teaser AOF 3D, from the fridge to warm to room temperature. You will want to aliquot the required amount of GCDR for passaging before you begin the passage. For a 100 mil culture, 20 mils of GCDR is recommended. Place the aliquoted GCDR in a water bath of 37 degrees. The first step in passaging the PBS Mini is to take an aggregate sample for imaging. Imaging the aggregates is important to evaluate the aggregate size and morphology. Working aseptically, remove the cap from the PBS bioreactor and place it face down. Using a two mil pipette, aspirate two mils of the culture. If the aggregates are settled, gently rotate the vertical wheel with the two mil pipette to resuspend, then take your sample. Distribute the sample in a non-tissue culture treated six well plate for viewing on the microscope. Return the cap to the PBS bioreactor. Typical aggregate morphology on day four of a culture demonstrate an aggregate size of roughly 300 to 400 microns in diameter, and the aggregates look circular with POC marking in the middle. Next, place a 37 micron filter over the waste bottle. Once the aggregates have settled in the bottom of the vessel, carefully aspirate 50 to 70% of the spent media. In this case, we're taking 60 mils of media. Pass the spent media through the filter into the waste bottle. Any aggregates will be captured on the filter. Next, flip the filter strainer over onto a 50 mil aggregate recovery tube so that the captured aggregates are on the bottom. Then using fresh media, wash the aggregates off the bottom of the filter with two to five mils of fresh media. The next step is aggregate recovery. To do this, gently swish the PBS vessel to disturb the settled aggregates. Next, using a 25 mil pipette, gently aspirate the aggregates from the vessel. and transfer these to the aggregate recovery tube.
Now inspect the PBS vessel for any remaining aggregates. If there are some remaining aggregates, add a small amount of fresh media using a smaller pipette to wash the vessel. Transfer the remaining aggregates to the aggregate recovery tube. Repeat if necessary. Now wait for the aggregates to settle in the aggregate recovery tube. To speed up this process, hold the Falcon tube at an angle of approximately 45 degrees. The aggregates should settle in about 30 seconds. If they are not settling, the aggregate recovery tube can be centrifuged at 300 times G for three minutes. Now the aggregates have settled. Carefully aspirate the spent media. while leaving the aggregate pellet undisturbed. The media can be discarded. Next, add 20 mils of the pre-warmed GCDR into the aggregate falcon tube. Be sure to add the GCDR slowly. Transfer the tube from the BSC into a 37 degree water bath. Incubate the aggregates in the 37 degree water bath for eight minutes. After eight minutes, transfer the aggregates from the water bath to the BSC, being careful not to disturb the aggregate pellet. Next, gently aspirate most of the GCDR from the aggregates. Be sure to take extra care not to disturb the aggregates. The GCDR can be discarded into the waste bottle. Now load in approximately 30 to 50 mils of fresh complete media containing 10 micromolar Y27632 rock inhibitor into the aggregate containing Falcon tube. Place a large 37 micron filter over the 125 mil final clump suspension bottle. Pass about two to five mils of fresh seed media into the tube to pre-wet the filter. Next, take a 5 mil serological pipette and break off the tip of the pipette with the packaging still on. Breaking off the tip of the pipette will increase the surface area necessary for passing through high concentrations of aggregates. 
This will reduce the shear that each of the aggregates exerts on one another. Next, with the aspirate and dispense setting on your pipetter set to slow, gently swirl and aspirate the aggregates inside the 50 ml falcon tube. Press the broken tip of the pipette at a 90 degree angle on the filter and apply a small amount of pressure. Gently pass the aggregates through the filter. In volumes of approximately 5 mils, pass the remaining aggregates through the filter until all the volume is gone. Once the aggregates are passed through the filter, inspect the filter to see if any cells remain. If there are some aggregates remaining, aspirate a small amount of fresh media and wash off the aggregates. Usually about five mils does the trick. The final clump suspension has been created and is now ready for cell counting. Remove the filter from the falcon tube and dispose of it.